Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys how to use top hat and bow tie. In this case, bow tie 2 and top hat 2. So the first thing you're going to do is go online and download both programs. As you can see, uh, they're right here on my desktop. After you've done that, you have to add both programs to your path in terminal. And to do that, just simply type nano dot bash underscore profile. As you can see, both programs are in my path already. Uh, just simply drag them in there and they'll just go in there. And it's as simple as that. Also, make sure your path, this right here, is before both programs so you don't run into a command not found error. So, next thing, just hit control O to save and control X to exit. Next I'm going to show you guys how to test if both bro um if both bow tie and top hat are working successfully. And to do that I'm gonna use the test installation uh right here on their website. So simply download the test uh the test data set from right here from this link and it's you can see it's right here on my desktop and in terminal you're gonna have to go to that directory so it's on my desktop so cd dash desktop c test and now you're gonna just simply copy this text right here copy it and just paste it right here. So make a note uh dependent on dependent on whatever program you're using, uh top hat or top hat two, you have to adjust this accordingly. So in my case I'm using top hat two, so I'm gonna type a two right there. And it's gonna begin to run. And this is gonna show you that both bow tie and top hat are working successfully. So what I'm going to show you guys how to do now is to run bow tie and top hat using your own organism. In my case I'm using Aspergillus flavus. So what you're going to have to do first is if you're index you have to create index files and if those files are not on this website as yet right here you have to build one yourself and that's really simple to do so first you're gonna have to go get your reference genome what I did and I'm not sure if this this is gonna work for you I just simply went into Google and typed in Aspergillus flavus and this came up Asper, Aspergillus flavus reference genome and it uh, brought me to this site where I just clicked here and that brought me to this page and I click and download the first link which is what I have right here on my desktop my reference genome so you're gonna use bowtie to build in my case literally bowtie to build bowtie to dash build to build your reference genome uh, sorry to build your index files so you're gonna just drag this on in here and make a note to type the name of your organism after after your reference genome Aspergillus flavus and now you're gonna press enter and the index files are gonna start to build I'm gonna can I'm gonna end this because I already have my index files and um, as you can see uh, your index files will begin to build. So in my case I was in the test data directory so I believe my index files began to build. Yeah, they're in here. So just output these files in whatever directory you want because you're gonna need that directory. So the next thing you're gonna have to do is officially start using Top Hat right now. So I can show you guys how to how to map live because 
I don't have access to my reads, but I did take a screenshot. So this is where I use Top Hat to, and this is uh, the directory that I told you guys you're gonna have, you're gonna need. This is the um, directory where your index files are. In my case, my index files were in a directory called AF, which is right here on my desktop. So you're gonna type Top Hat to or top hat and you're gonna drag this directory right on in there and make a note to again add the name of your organism right after you've done that so aspergillus flavors and now you're gonna add the directory where your reads are located so as you can see here my reads were located in this directory so I just dragged it on into terminal and Top Hat began to run. So it's just like uh, the test data that we ran earlier. And is, uh, if you look right here, it says check in for a reference FASTA file, and Top Hat could not find that. If, if you're technical about you know, running your program and getting your results, I guess you can go ahead and figure out how to solve that problem but I couldn't figure out how to solve it. And if you can't, I will tell you guys that it's absolutely it's absolutely okay that you know Top Hat can't find your FASTA file. Because if you look right here, it says reconstituting reference FASTA file from Bowtie Index. So that is what Top Hat is gonna do when it can't find your FASTA file. And after it does that, your mapping will continue to run successfully. So my the the directory that I used was my this folder right here AF. So this is the directory where Top Hat output its results. As you can see right here, this is the results of my mapping, and it's oh sorry, and it's exactly like besides oh here you go. It's exactly like. <clears throat> the test data results they're exactly the same and that's simply it that's how you, you use top hat 2 in bowtie 2 if you have any questions just leave them in, in the comment section below and if you need me to clarify anything or you need to clarify me for some reason you know just leave that below and um thanks for watching